Ring Girl has gotten in there. And Gary will probably be doing his version of the pageant wave as she comes by with a nice smile. And uh, you see the fighter who is presenting himself and goes through, comes to his corner. And the blue corner. This was Aziz that just came in. Um, James will be coming, and we'll tell you about these young men into the blue corner. And then we'll get the official introductions. Team Ingram's Rayford Collins Jackson Boxing Club bringing you this event. And, of course, we have one fighter still to put his headgear on, and that's, that's okay. I see it looks like Team Impact over there. And... Uh, in the blue corner, Cavante James in the red corner, Yahweh Aziz. And I would presume that Aziz is fighting for Team Aziz. And it has impact on the jersey, but it also says Team Mustafa All Boxing. Right. So we'll find out which one is it is. Sixth annual Hub City Boxing Event, our co-main event. We have boxing out of the red corner, representing Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Team AZ. Yahweh Aziz. His opponent boxing out of the blue corner, representing Mustafa boxing out of ATL Georgia, James K. Dot. And the boxers, uh, Yahweh. Aziz out of Pine Bluff in the red. In the blue, Cavante James. He's out of Georgia, and Pine Bluff is Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So Georgia versus Arkansas here. No, it's not SEC football, and you see their names up there. Two fine boxers. These are, well, along with the next bout, some of the headline bouts here. We are just about waiting for this three-rounder has started. 10-point must scoring system, as we've reminded you. James in the blue. Aziz in the red and black. And there's a break call for. Both young men studying each other, trying to find that opening. A lot of leather thrown. Of course, Cavante James, left-handed boxer. His power punch comes from his left hand, jabs with his right. Aziz jabs with his left, and his power punch comes from his right hand. He also can throw the hook. Both of them can. And these are two promising young fighters that have some experience to them. Aziz, 103 pounds, 13 years old. Devante James, 15 years old and 101 pounds. Now they'll break them as that almost looked like a wrestling move then where you get riding time, and I'm talking about collegiate wrestling, not uh, pro wrestling. And you hear the encouragement and instructions and stuff being called out. A couple of punches there, a little flurry by Aziz. And there they'll break them and tell them, guys, let's watch the holding, especially giving Cavante James a little extra Warning on that. And they want to throw the jab here. And James dropping that jab down a little bit, likes to take that big left hook. And here's some combinations and some quick punches by Aziz. And they tie up again. The referee will break them. This young man, all, all of our referees have done well tonight. And that is the end of the round. The first round has been completed. And Cavante James out of Georgia with the blue and 
uh, Yahweh Aziz from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, demonstrating their boxing skills. You're watching on the Ball Game Blitz Facebook page, and we'll remind you that Worthy Road Studios will have these archived, and I get amazed at Gary, and he got a wave this time out of the round two ring girl. And, uh, you know, she has she has been all business like, and Gary finally gets that wave out of her. Gary Lockhart, producing, directing, executive producer Paul Schultz he was, is here. And, of course, we've got great camera work. Look at that shot uh, that, that we just came off of to show the complete ring, but we can show you the corners, and this is what Worthy Roads is capable of. Didn't get to finish with Diamond Dave, and, but we'll talk about him in a minute. We're ready for the second round action. Two determined looking fighters there. The lefty is Cavante James in the blue. Some of you say, Coach, that may be purple. And the reason I, I cannot see purple, I see it as a blue of uh, the way my eyes are. And the red is Aziz. We could say Georgia versus Arkansas in this case, as Cavante James is out of Georgia and Aziz out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. There's some punches. Now they wrap up or clinch. And uh, you have, may have heard the referee said, gentlemen, get your heads up. Good job by the official. A lot of leather flying, and then we're going to clinch again. And again, it looks like a wrestling move. And the referee talks to both young men. And the referee is important in keeping things moving. We're on that 10-point must scoring system. And the number one criteria is the quality of the punches landed. Strategy and being a tactician, there are factors but lesser factors. And a 10-9 is a close round, 10-8. And then 10-7 was a totally dominant round if it is scored that way. Each round scored separately. There's a little flurry, some action. In that flurry, there's also some missed punches. There's some that do connect. Remember the deflected punches off the gloves and stuff. Don't really, you hear the warning clack in the background. This round is getting close to being over. As they, and there is the sound for the end of round two. And we've got a big round three coming up. A very important round to these two young men right now, as you see. And for the first time tonight, I see the chair being used over in the blue corner, which is all right. That's perfectly legal. And um, Gary's going to have a tired arm. He's going to be like a baseball pitcher waving at people. And we'll have to ice it down. I hope they've still got some over there in the food area. We'll put an ice bag on it. And we are getting ready for action. Both young fighters, mouthpieces going back in. Last second instructions being given. Of course, we'll have to wait till the chair gets out of the ring. And again, you hear the little warning. I call it the warning clacker. And uh, somebody texted me and said, Coach, are you saying quacker? No, it's, it's a clacker. It has another name too, but uh, very interesting here. And uh, here we go with third round action. And a lot of leather flying. Don't know how much of it is scoring right now. Some punches missing by both young men. Some are now, um, there'll be a little warning. Wasn't an intentional late contact. And again, uh, the referee, I guarantee you'll tell him, gentlemen, let's, let's just box and watch the clinches. I can't read his lips. He had his back to me, but you could tell he was talking to him. The officiating's been outstanding tonight. And there's some punches ducked by... Cavante James, or Cavante James ducked the punches as he's threw some good ones. And we'll have uh, not a standing eight count, but uh, 
as the boxer went down. Referee judged it wasn't worthy of a standing eight count. Or the referee did. The officiating has been much better than it has been in high school football around here this year. I will say that and stand by it. These men worked hard tonight. Appreciate the three physicians that got the physician's awards. And another break. And remember, in the blue and left-handed is Kevante James. Uh, Yahweh Aziz is in the red and black. And there's a nice attack and flurry. Check for the scoring punches. I thought I saw one or two come then that could have scored for both men. And uh, the warning that time is about to run down. So that is the end of the third round. And this is going to be an interesting fight as – the referee collects the scorecards. Yes, sir. And uh, both sides confident here. And a lot of sportsmanship being shown by both fighters. And uh, Aziz got some help from the blue corner in getting his headgear off. And of course, again, Cavante James in the blue. A Yahweh Aziz in the red. If you want to say Georgia versus Arkansas, but not SEC. And for you UT fans listening out there, UT has taken a 33-27 lead with 4-11 left to go in that contest with Kentucky. But what's more important is boxing on the ball game blitz and Worthy Road Studios. And a lot of good sportsmanship out of these two young men. Absolutely. Let's give them. I want to, but you'd hear it clap in my microphone and probably would burst your eardrum. Here comes the official's decision. A tough one. Okay. They say out of the blue corner. Cavante James. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.